Hello everyone, in this video I will go over some of the major events related to the Horn of Valir and also explain some of its aspects. This video will contain major spoilers for the books, so if you have not finished A Memory of Light, please come back after you do so. The Horn of Valir is an artifact in the Wheel of Time that summons dead heroes to battle. Not much is known about the Horn's origin, but Robert Jordan did confirm in one of his blogs that the Horn was made by mortals and not by gods. During the breaking of the world, the Horn of Valir was hidden away by the Aes Sedai, and for hundreds of years the Horn was lost and became legend. Throughout this time, the country of Ilium would host the Great Hunt of the Horn, which is when heroes from all over the Westlands search for the Horn of Valir. The Great Hunt of the Horn is also the name given to the popular story told by Gleeman about the heroes of the Third Age that would go on search of the Horn. It is believed that one of the major indications that the last battle is coming is the finding of the Horn of Valir. After hundreds of years, the Horn was finally found by a group led by Moraine Dumadre. It was found in the Eye of the World, which was located within the Blight. After this, the Horn was taken to Faldara, where it was stolen by Pat and Fane. A group led by Inktar Shinoa and Randall Thor was sent to take the Horn back. The group was able to track the Horn down to the town of Falma which was under the control of an invading army called the Sonchan. The Sonchan also had the horn under their possession, but the group led by Inktar Shinoa and Randal Thor managed to take the horn back from the Sonchan. As the group was escaping with the horn, they found themselves trapped in between the invading Sonchan army and a white cloak army that had come to drive the Sonchan away. Having no other option, Matt Cawthorn blew the Horn of Valir in order to save himself and his friends. After doing this, the heroes of the Horn appeared and they managed to drive the Sonchan army away. The heroes of the Horn are composed of warriors that showed great heart and courage in life. After they die, they go to Telarandriat where they wait for someone to blow the Horn of Valir or they are reborn into a new life and have no memory of their previous lives. There are many heroes of the Horn, but the most popular figures are probably Arthur Hawkwind, Brigitta Silverbow, and Guy Kane. After Matt Cawthon blew the Horn of Valir at the Battle of Alma, he became bound to the Horn. Matt was the only person that could blow the Horn of Valir and summon the heroes of the Horn. If any other person blew the horn, nothing would happen. The only way to break this link was for Matt to die. In book 4, the Finn hanged Matt from a tree, but he was saved by Randall Thor just before he died. At this point, his link to the horn was still intact. But in book 5, he was killed by the forsaken ravine with the lightning strike. But after Randall Thor kills Ravine with Bellfire, he undoes Matt's death, and thus his link to the Horn of Valir was broken. At the last battle, the Horn of Valir was given to Alder. He tries to deliver the Horn to Matt Cawthon, but he finds himself trapped by some Trollocs. At this point, the armies of the Light were close to losing the last battle. So out of desperation and thinking only of salvation, Ulver blew the Horn of Valir and summoned the Heroes of the Horn, who managed to save Ulver and the armies of the Light. After the last battle, Ulver was sent to the ocean to dispose of the Horn of Valir, and thus it became legend once again. If you enjoyed this video, Consider subscribing for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.